the summertime. It's summer here. And my guest star for today is my mom, June Ambrose. Hello. And on today's episode of Summertime, we'll be making vegetable vegan dumplings. So let's get started. Can you turn on the wok for me, okay. please? So in here we have some cabbage. And I'm going to add in some mushrooms, some zucchini, some um, snow peas, some peppers. Some carrots, some ginger, and some scallions. This is one of my favorite dishes. I am a vegan, as you guys know, and maybe you don't. But um, so Summer has came up with this recipe for vegan dumplings. I was so excited because I love dumplings, and I wanted to still, you know, have them. And she made it happen for me. So. So I'm going to season these very well because it's a lot of vegetables. Some salt, some black pepper. I'm gonna add some rice vinegar in here. Not too much, just enough. Mm, that smells so good. Add some sesame oil. It's a lot of vegetables, guys. This is just gonna help it bind better. Some more. Give me a little more. So that's a, that's a teaspoon. So you're using soy sauce, and it's a vegan soy sauce too. So I love yes. that because before I purchased, when I got the soy sauce, and it was you had fish sauce and it had fish sauce in it, and I was like, oh. it was so vegan. this one's great. And now you still have to use salt, even though. Um, you're using the soy because I know soy tends to be salty as well. Yes, only because it's a lot of vegetables and we just really want to cook it down. Okay. And this is low sodium too, isn't it? Yes. Good. Okay, so this is our vegetables right here. This is what they look like. And that looks great. All, all those colors. Go ahead and put the, can you go ahead and put this in the sure. me? Okay, ah. This is so pretty. I can turn the fire back up. Yes. I love cooking. So I gotta tell you, Summer has mastered this recipe. I like cooking on my toes, don't make people done. <laughs> okay, so while Mom's frying up the vegetables, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on the sauce that we dip the dumplings in. I have some ginger in here, some scallions. I'm gonna add some black pepper. I'm gonna do some sesame oil, some rice vinegar. Mom's actually frying in a wok because I like the way that it um, sautés the vegetables. And I'm gonna add some soy sauce. Again, the recipe will be on the side for this sauce. You don't need salt for this one. You just need the sauces. So my sauce is done, super simple. I'm gonna go ahead and check on these, do you mind if I? So mm -hmm. as you can see, her mom loves the sauce getting thick because of the cornstarch. Mm -hmm. That's just what we want to see. It just holds everything together better once it's in the dough. And what I love about this too is that it's not too much calories, which is really nice. And I've had this before as just a dinner, like for dinner with a salad, which has been really um, suffices for me too as well. And you can fry these or steam these dumplings too, right? Yes, so we're going to pan fry these and then add some water and steam them down. Mm -hmm. So it has the color at the bottom, but it's very um, steamed and very tender. So we actually don't have to cook these vegetables for the through because they will get cooked again in the dumplings. So I'm actually going to turn them off right now. Okay, so I'm going to start laying out everything I need to make these dumplings. I'm going to cut off my counter so I can work on my surface. So I'm going to put this to the side. I'm going to get some cornstarch. Sorry. Yeah. I'm going to get some cornstarch. Lay it on my surface. This will be like my flour substitute. I'm going to lay this out. Get my hands all torn torched. Ooh. Smoke. I'm gonna get my dumplings. Mom, can you these. do me a favor? We have to share these because these are great. These are some of my favorites. And it's 
this makes your life so much easier because you can make these by scratch and you have in the past. But if you want to cut down some time and make life easy, we got these at Whole Foods and they're vegan um, wonton wraps. They're really, really good. So I think this really helps to make the process a little simpler, wouldn't you say? 100%. Also makes it easier for us to scoop them in. So I'm just separating my wonton wrappers. Well, these are all laid out. So I'm just gonna show you guys how to place in your filling. You wanna get a little bit of filling. You wanna place it in the middle. You want to get a cup of water, dip your finger in, and you just want to go along the edge, quite a bit of water, because you really want it to stick. You can also make these round and cut them, so that you can pinch them closed in one, but I actually like to do it like this, where I pinch here, and I bring each side up. A little pocketbook. Yes. Like this. Oh, is that why you keep so much cornstarch in your hand and your hands really? Yes, yeah, just so it doesn't stick because I have a lot of water okay. in there. Do you want to get your plates? You can place those in that? Yes, please. So this is our first one. This is what it looks like. I put that on there. And Mom and I are going to just keep building these. And we'll get back to you guys when we're all finished. Okay guys, so we just finished our dumplings. Now I'm gonna add some oil into our pan. This is what they look like. And we're just gonna heat up our pan. I'm gonna go ahead and place my dumplings into the pan and I'm just gonna crisp them up until the bottoms are browned. crispy at the bottom. That's the color you want to see. Okay. Okay, so then you're going to go ahead and add in water to the bottom of the pan, and you're just going to cook the dumplings until the water has evaporated. So 
my dumplings are done. The water has evaporated. And I'm just going to carefully, very carefully, because they are delicate, place my dumplings into my bowls. Plating is like my favorite thing that you do because Summer cares about presentation. It's really nice how she cares about how things go out onto the plate and onto the table for whoever's eating her dishes to experience it in a way that feels like it's just culinary excellence. So I am so proud of you for that. She's so visual and so creative. These are going to be amazing. The purple cabbage came through. It's beautiful. Yeah, I love seeing the translucentness of it too. Oh, look, yeah. they're hot. And they look light. It doesn't look like a doughy, gummy, you know, it's just wonderful. Plating is so key to me. I think it's just like, if it doesn't look good, people aren't going to want to eat it. Personally, that's how I feel about it because if it doesn't look good to me, I'm not going to want to put it in my body. So I think that the way it looks is super important. Yeah. I was really big on that when they, when you guys were younger. I wanted to make sure that it was visually appetizing and that you, you know you wanted to eat it. And I think that's why you're so your palate's so sophisticated as well because you I, you know I, I introduced things at a very early age and you weren't afraid to try you know different vegetables. So the fact that we're here today doesn't come as no surprise to me because you really kind of clung to it and you. You're, you're just, your palate was just special. I just knew that from a young age. Okay, so these are microgreens, and I'm just gonna top my dish off with these beautiful microgreens. We got these from our local market. So now that I have my microgreens all on my plate, I'm just gonna get this beautiful sauce that I made earlier, and I'm just gonna spoon it on top. It's gonna be so lovely. Wow, this looks so good, guys. Oh, it's so pretty. I love the colors, it just looks incredible. And with these, I'm just gonna go like this around mm -hmm. the plate. Well, I can see the ginger in that too, and the scallions, I love this. So mom and I are gonna go ahead and try these. We're gonna need some sparkling water to cleanse the palate. Mm. Oh my god, you've got wine glass. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I apologize, next time. Okay, here we go. Outstanding. There's, it's so nice. I love seeing the color. I love the cabbage. Every vegetable in this dish I love. And people can really kind of play around with this recipe and add different vegetables to it too. That's what's so nice about it. So I always and on top of this, guys, I'm not vegan, but I like these. Mm -hmm. And I haven't been a very big fan of like fully vegan foods. But the color of this, the taste, the ginger, Everything about it just made me excited to eat it and just made it taste even better for when the first time I made these for my mom. So I'm really glad that I was able to share this experience with you guys. Okay, I just want to thank you for coming oh, on this thank episode. You. Thank you for having me. This was outstanding. I'm so proud of you. And I can't wait for your followers to try this dish and make it themselves at home. You will not regret it. Okay guys, we want to end out the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Summertime. Give it a big thumbs up if you like this video. Hit that big red subscribe button down below. Click that bell on the side so you never miss when I post. Comment down below on more video ideas you want me to do. If you want to see more videos with mom. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye. Bye.